Product Universe Reacts. Hello, people. I've been realizing over the past couple weeks that the price of gasoline is going up and going up a lot. Where I live, prices have gone up 40 to 50 cents in the last month alone. Prices are continuing to rise every single day. All around the U.S., according to AAA gas prices, almost every state in the United States has seen a 20 to 30 cent increase in gas prices since last month. This is not good news for the economy. These rising prices could mean that inflation has not been stopped by the rate hikes that have been happening for the last couple of years. Rate hikes that were supposed to tame inflation. Rate hikes that people recently thought were taming inflation once and for all. The inflation rate had moderated from 9.1% in 2022 to around 3.2% in February 2024. But these rising gas prices right now show an ugly truth and show that rate cuts will be farther on the horizon than people may expect. Right now, people expect rate cuts and at least three of them by the end of the year. If gas prices continue to rise and stay at these new highs, I can almost all but guarantee you there will be no rate cuts this year at all. There may even be more rate hikes. The Fed and Jerome Powell are set on a 2% target for inflation, and I believe they will see that target through. Right now, they are not there. They are at a 3.2% inflation rate, and it's not looking like that inflation rate will be going down next month as energy prices are rising, as you see what's going on with the gasoline right now. If energy prices rise, the cost of all goods will rise. Why does the cost of all goods rise? Almost all goods require energy to make them. Since energy costs are rising, it takes more money to make said goods. Since they spent more money to make those goods, they're going to make less on those goods if they sell them at the same price. Based on how much it's increased to make those goods, they may not be making any money at all when selling at their current price. So they have to raise the prices for selling their goods so that they can offset the high cost of the goods production and make a profit when selling. That's why everything has gone up in price these last couple of years. Because since everything is more expensive to produce, it's more expensive to purchase because companies need to sell at higher prices than normal to make the same amount of money. Being able to buy less with more money is the point we are at in the United States. $20 used to get you a dinner for your whole family. Now $20 may get you a burger and fries from Five Guys. That is not optimal for anyone. If you want to end inflation, you lower the price of energy by increasing the supply of energy dramatically. Until that happens, we have to rely on interest rate hikes in the Federal Reserve's monetary policy to stop inflation. That way is much worse for everybody. As interest rate hikes purpose is to make people's lives harder so that they have less money to spend on things, so that they purchase fewer things. This remedies inflation as prices go down to a new equal labrium that benefits both consumers and suppliers. In the end, I hope high gas prices don't last for a long time because that will put a lot of stress on all Americans. That's just my two cents. And if you liked the video, and if you enjoyed my commentary and gameplay, make sure to give it a like and turn on sub notifications. And also, I hope you have a great day.